So the thing that we wanted to show you today, if you remember from our last discussion, that is, well, finally the design, you know, how, how that works. So uh, if we wrap up from the previous uh, calls, we started, you know, the, the tank process, the building of the tank, it starts there, right? Where we did the uh, research of different parts, components and technologies. Then we, mm -hmm. uh, we jump to that building. And this is where we were like playing with the separate components. We, we call them components and modifications. But from one different default part, we could have created multiple ones depending on the goal and then depending on you know what are we aiming with that what kind of tank we want to get and the, the design itself that's done in this building so we go here uh probably this window you do remember before right yeah i remember seeing this one uh yeah. what was it like the second episode or whatever we did for these interviews exactly exactly and also back in well <laughs> no I have to remember back those months ago, uh, the way it was done, it was also not done completely 3D. And as we promised, now we have reshaped it. Uh, so there we have it. This is the uh, the workshop, right? You can see. Okay. We have, this, you see a lot of guys working for us, you know, working for the success of the company. And uh, the way the process goes is on the left, you have the components that you have allegedly already engineered uh, during the engineering phase. So at the moment, for example, we have the five different hulls. You always start with the hull. So we have, let's say that we, cha we take the LK one, right? So you see it, it's uh, waiting to be further done. And when you pick up the hull, what happens is that uh, these slots, uh, they start to sort of fill up. So we have, this is the slots for the components now, not for the modifications, but for the components. So we go to the next one. And for this particular uh, LK hull, we have three available running gears. So we can take the default one. Oh, sorry, this is the default one. This is the one, the original one from the LK series. Or you can start taking the ones that you, by different means, you have taken from your opponents or from different research. So the next step will be that you fill in sort of the gaps. In this case, that will be the turret. You have only one turret. And uh, you see, you can, you can get that monstrosity if you wish. Or you can have this one. And each time, basically, you do the, the choice, that affects what is opening up for you. So the way we have assembled it now, you see that we have now three slots for different MGs. So let's say we take the, the Lewis, we take the Lewis there, we take the Lewis here. And here we can take, well, whatever, we can take the Hoshkis. Uh, then we wrap it up. Again, we have the uh, power units that we have already played with and we created. So the Ricardo, the Liberty, or the Diamond Bands for Cylinder. So let's say we take this guy. Oh, and so you get like a nice 3D view of the inside of the tank when you're doing that sort of work? Yes, exactly, exactly. So you, you get the feeling for how it is there. And of course, each time you do the choice, you know, it affects, uh, well, both the attributes and the cost and the time. So that, that, that is connected. Uh, there will be a lot of balancing to do, you know, to get these numbers right. But th these are the major stages. So when you're done with that, you can, uh, well, let's see, we switch off the orbiting. And uh, yeah, if you want, you can have it even like this. You can really enjoy it, you know, in close look, uh, look at this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. your creation, so to say. So the, the next thing that one has to think about is the gear. As we said, we want to have, uh, we want to give opportunity to select the gear. So this one has like three different gear uh, slots. And uh, yeah, probably you remember, this is the gear that we have featured for the British research tree. So we take, let's say the coverall, we take the helm and I don't know, 
let's take the compass. <laughs> so, and again, each time you do it, it has an impact on the final attributes. Now, the, the ammunition now is not available because, well, ammunition goes for the guns, right? And we don't have any guns that is currently installed. But that's no problem. So we go, we go back and let's, uh, <clears throat> let's take, let's take this one. That's another one. Right. So let's play around with this. So this is something that, well, sort of a classical, almost classical view, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or we can take the tadpole ones. That becomes very different. Or we can take the ones from uh, Mark 8, the Liberty one. So this is something that, again, this is first time the world see this kind of tank, I suppose. It was not available before. We fill in the, well, we'll put this guy there. We fill in, uh, let's take these sponsors. I think I'll take this one. And when we plug in the guns now, there and there, now you see the ammunition becomes available. So now we can go there and pick up those that we believe will serve best for the, well, for the conflicts upcoming. And again, you can fill in, you know, the machine guns if you wish. Also the power unit. There you have it. <laughs> wow, it's definitely progressed a lot from uh, even what you just showed last time. Thank you. Yeah, it's, um, it has been quite a lot of work to be to be honest with this. But it's uh, I hope you get the feeling how this process actually works. So that's. Um, there will be uh, there are some actually questions that I just answered that there will be a system that will help the player to not do com completely wrong design you know like the design that is completely let's say, incapable of actually doing the fights mm -hmm. right so you, let's say it will be some uh, either uh, like messages or maybe colored by the red color if something is completely off. And then also, uh, well, the part with the modifications, the question was actually, well, okay, when you add the modifications to the component, it always adds the attributes, but will you have modifications that will allow actually to change the comp compatibility conditions? You know, so you add a modification and what it does, it expands what you can plug inside the tank or the other way around. Uh, we will have it probably, but it will come later because that, that means there will be even more balancing to do. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. It makes things more complex. But um, yeah, so that, that's, that kind of gives a uh, feeling, I hope, or, uh, well, I can show you really the, the, the monstrosity. This one you remember, right? This is with the... With the oh, player. yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the first one. And then uh, if we start playing with the running gear, then we have, uh, yeah, well, this is the default one, and then comes my favorite ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those wheels really become uh, useful when you add that on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and this is actually where the system's supposed to kind of hint you that, well, maybe you don't want to use exactly this hub, or maybe not, I don't know, it might be its own uh, its own flavor, right? That you just find it along the way, sort of. You find it on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. uh, what happens? But again, this is um, the, well for me personally, it would be fun to try it out and you know see uh, how things work or maybe not work. You never know. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's uh, I think it's the way. And then the yeah the whippet, another funny guy, and uh, also you can probably uh, recall that some of this we have already shown in the screenshots that we shared on the Discord or on the Instagram. So this is where they're actually coming from. So actually playing with them, experimenting with different versions, and uh, there you go. This is where they actually originate from. <laughs> <clears throat> And uh, yeah, th th that is sort of the end of the well game loop when it comes to designing the tank. So what happens next is that if you're happy, you actually sort of uh, you uh, 
uh, fix this design, you get it available for your production, for your offers. And this is something that we, uh, we will discuss for the next time, how you go from the finished design to production, to, to the warehouse where you store the tanks and how you deliver those to the customers. So then we will have a complete, um, a complete functionality of the factory ground sort of represented, you know, finished in a sense. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that will be remaining <clears throat> and that we can take, I guess, in, in one more round that is going outside to the world, seeing uh, what options are available when you deal with different countries. And, uh, you know, last but definitely not least, how actually the battle checks work, how the tactical map, you know, how that becomes alive. We've showed some screenshots of that, but then, then we'll show how it's actually, uh, how it plays, how it feels in the game. And finally, how the player will experience uh, the battle performance, you know, how that will look like. We have some, I think, a really cool idea about this. And if, if all goes well, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, the tank enthusiasts and just, you know, the guys who support us, they will love what they will see. Yeah, I would imagine that's something a lot of people are really <clears throat> excited for is to actually see how you get to use the tanks, or not use them, but you get to see them in battle. Exactly, exactly. It's, it's like, you know, you spend so much time in going on all these troubles making one. So then you, you really want to see that. You really want to sort of see this. Uh, of course, you want to see it in the 3D. Uh, that much I can tell you so far. So that's, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, I'll be very happy to answer if there are any questions from our former rounds that your subscribers might have asked yeah i did actually get one that i collected not a lot of people i don't think got to that point where we asked for questions but not sure i get, did get one though somebody was asking if there will be a way to like share your designs using the game yeah to basically show them off to other people we want to introduce that uh, I don't think that will be available from the very start because we, again, we are sort of ambitious guys, but well, we, we believe that it, it is possible to do. We don't want just to give a possibility to share the designs, but we want also give a possibility for the players to compete. And how that will be done, that will reveal at the later stages. All right. And I mean, once the game launches or is even in the demo version, they can always share the stuff using screenshots on the uh, dedicated Discord you guys have, which I'll yeah, yeah, have yeah, links absolutely. to everything in the description. So even right at the start, there will be ways to share your design, if indirectly. So there's absolutely. no limit for that. No, no, absolutely. I think that will be really cool to see what kind of monstrosities or, or how do you call it in your... You have this... Uh series of both oh the the cursed designs <laughs> the cursed design yeah right so we, we, we might steal from you and create an additional channel the cursed designs you know, on the discord <laughs> um yeah absolutely and that will be cool to see you know and also of course get as much feedback as possible and uh, improve 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 make it even more fun And then, yeah, another thing that you, I don't know if you sort of noticed there, there's another, you know, there's the paint and decor. They're currently not active here on the top to the left. But this is actually at this stage, this is the play. Well, this is the, also the place where the player will be able to play with the different uh, color schemes of the tanks. You can see it's very, you know, neutrally green, right? The, yep. the, the typical British green, I would say, of that age. So here you'll be able to play with the different paints, even the camouflage. And here you'll be able to play with the different parts of decor. So like putting some bags, the nets, that they they won't have an effect on the attributes, but they will really bring a lot, you know, personalization to your tanks, you know, the feeling and also the different decals also, like different symbols that you want to paste on that. That, that will be done here. All right. 
So there will be some uh, some place for playing with uh, with the appearance. Well, yeah, I mean, that's definitely another aspect that adds into the whole customization of the vehicle, because I know even in like just for War Thunder, you do have that same sort of decal and you can place things on the vehicle, but it is somewhat limited in exactly what you can do. Like if you were adding on extra like track links or something, that's all predetermined by the game. And I don't know exactly what you'll have for decor, but just any sort of customization where you can move things around on the vehicle, even if it doesn't impact its performance, is definitely a plus. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, we are a bit sort of on next level than, well, unfortunately, or good for us, I don't know, than the War Thunder, because, you know, their model is sort of, it's, uh, well, one unit or two units, like the turret and the hull, right? Mm-hmm. In our case, this is a multiple models. It's a it's a collection of models that, uh, like, well, you interplay with the different parts. So that that I don't want to go to the technicalities, but that that adds a certain level of complexity when we're talking about different paints and decors and decals. But uh, anyhow, definitely there will be a, a way for the player to play with appearance and uh, yeah, have this personalization tank that you like so yeah that's uh that's i think this is shorter than last time but i hope that you liked what you've seen i hope your subscribe your subscribers also will like this update yeah i'm sure they um, will uh yeah we're very happy to see more people in the discord or instagram and asking us questions that kind of that is always inspiring to see interest and uh, gives us also some good ideas, I think. Well, you guys are really making strides towards that goal of uh, getting to the Kickstarter, which uh, that's not too far away now at this point, right? Just a couple more months? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we are really ramping up. Exactly, we're really ramping up. We, um, we have actually a draft of the Kickstarter campaign. So half, well, not half of us, but some of us are working on that. And that's, uh, uh, I can tell you like that much. This is really a sort of process mm -hmm. in the process. Uh, there's a lot of things to think about, be that, you know, the rewards, the, the goals, social aspect, and, and just making, you know, making it really looking the way we see it, you know, uh, really a sort of interesting arts and interesting descriptions and so on uh, but as i said the, the draft we do have we will polish it uh, uh, and of course at the same time we continue to look at what's happening on the kickstarter you know we're trying to learn from the successful and well unsuccessful projects as well uh, and it's uh, yeah the time is time is going so we have a lot of things still to finish before we are there but we we definitely still plan to be on the Kickstarter this fall. Absolutely. Well, I definitely look forward to you guys launching the demo so I can get hands-on with this game. It looks like it's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Good chair. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. That will be a uh, thing. When you see that all these things, you know, how they interact with each other, work together, and see the history that is weaved, you know, be that the different characters or the tasks or the news, uh, the conflicts, the battles, I think that will uh, that will make like a one complete picture. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, yeah, I think we can... Uh finish it at this point and uh, yeah looking forward looking forward to see more questions and suggestions and uh, I guess the next time I mean it's a preliminary date but I think the next time if it's fine with you we can have a call let's say within a couple of weeks so we are you know accelerating yeah that should work and then we will be discussing we'll be discussing the production uh, the warehouse and the, the administration as well. There's some interesting features to show there. Yeah, and just like last time, if anybody yeah, has any yeah. questions about anything they've seen or anything that um, they think they could add, just drop them in the comments. Join all the links and stuff that I'll include for their social media in the description. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing more for sure. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Good. Thank you.